I'm gonna set this up really quick. This is how I can see um, people's comments. I join it too, but as a different person. <laughs> you can see yourself. Yeah. But Someone joined. Yep. Hi, Sasha. Oh, no, that's, that's going to make an echo. Oh, turn that off. We'll wait a little bit, so uh, it'll give time for people to trickle in. Yeah, they, they stink. These markers stink. Hello. We'll start in like two minutes, guys. It looks like some people are starting to get in our chat here. Hi. No, it, it, it says right there, Margaret. Hi, Jude. I think you'll enjoy our drawing today. Hey, cousin. Okay, we'll get started in one more minute, one more minute. You're welcome. Thank you guys for joining. Yeah, uh, it'll be here every weekday. Hey, good to see you again. Cool. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll get, we'll get started with some introductions. Hi, AJ, Lily, and Charlotte. Good to have you guys today. Hmm. Riley's joining us too. I'm gonna say hi. hi. This is my niece, Riley. She'll be drawing with us also. You, you barely put your face in there. Come on. <laughs> six feet though, six feet. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey Tutelsa. Are you drawing with us today? Okay, we'll get started. It's 9.05, so we'll get going. All right, so this is my foundational art class with me, Mr. Leo and we'll be doodling using simple shapes. So uh, as young artists, the hardest thing to achieve is good proportion. Uh, this practice will help with that because the world is just full of simple shapes and complex shapes. Plus uh, the benefits of art is art is stress relieving. It's good for your brain. It builds fine motor skills uh, and it enhances focus and flow. So I am an art teacher here in Mira Mesa and I have over 10 years of experience. So you guys are in good hands. We will get started, okay? I'm gonna switch us off to, um, I'll switch us to our paper here. Oops, there it is. And Riley will join us too and I'll show you her drawing. But we, we will draw together on our pad here. Hi, Faith. Okay. So, um, 
Let's get our pencils out. Oh, by the way, I didn't even introduce our tools. We need a pencil, a paper, a marker, either a Sharpie or ink pen, and we need an eraser as well. Yay, good to have you guys, Janae and Fate. All right, there, we're not blurry now. So from the center, we're gonna get our pencils out. Okay, good. And we will draw an oval. And I, I'm just sketching it out first, pretty lightly. And then I'm gonna slowly press a little harder so you guys can see it. It's, it's kind of like a long egg or potato shape, right? Go ahead and make your own. And all these excess lines won't matter once we put our marker on them, so don't worry about making too many lines. Okay. Now, we are going to make, this is very important, a bean shape. So let's put a bean right there. It's, it's about like a one third from the top. So a bean shape. So put that bean shape, Riley. So it's kind of like a, a bean shape is kind of like an oval, but it's it's bent, right? All right. Now we're gonna make uh, a curve, or I guess you could say like a half oval, like this shape down here, to connect from the bottom of our bean. Hi, Zach. I need to get a new pencil. Okay, yeah, grab your pencil. We're taking it easy today. All right, so from the top of the bean, I want you guys to make a circle. The top center of the bean, we have a circle. Okay, good job, Riley. And then let's move a small bit upwards from the nose and then we'll go left and we'll make a little circle here. Yep. All right. Hi, Courtney. Yeah. Good to have you. I saw your video yesterday. Your mom posted it on Instagram. Uh, uh, I, I saw your, your machine drawing. It was looking good. Glad to have you. All right, so this circle, we'll make one on the opposite side as well. So over here, we'll try and line it up, right? And we'll make a circle here too. I think, I think our face is looking pretty good so far. It's kind of like a cute potato. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think I really liked how we did Pusheen's little nubs. And it's like this shape again. It's like a, an oval uh, going downwards, I guess, directing this way, a half oval like that. And we'll make, we'll distance it a little bit and make another nub just like that. <laughs> I think, I think you're, you're, you're a good guesser. She guessed it right. San Sanaya, good job Sanaya. It's a potato dog. It's a it's a rare breed. 
half half oh, dog, yeah. half potato. They're from France. All right, so let's make another nub on the back of this potato dog. And then another nub here. <laughs> that looks that looks crazy. Yeah. All right. Looks like a spider. <laughs> looks like a spider. <laughs> okay. And let's make I guess this shape. It's a it's not an oval, it's like a curvy bean, half bean shape for the tongue, see? Half bean shape that comes out from the side. See, so if, if we were to cut this bean shape in half, it's just coming from the side and that's gonna be the tongue of our potato dog. Hi, Nitya, good to have you. So uh, if, if you guys are coming in a little late, uh, don't worry, because I'm gonna save the recording of these videos and we have uh, two more drawings coming up after this one, okay? So good to have you, Nitya. All right. How's your how's your tongue going? Good. Yeah. All right. And the dog is not a dog without its ears. So um, first, I'm just sketching. I guess they're ovals. They're ovals, but then their angle is this way, right? They're not directly down this way. Does that make sense? So this is an oval. Huh? So this is an oval for the ear, right? And remember, you guys are sketching, so you're drawing lightly. The only reason I'm drawing harder is because I need you guys to see it. Uh, and, and the computer kind of, um, or the video kind of lightens up my lines. So I'm drawing a little harder than I, I should. But I still want you guys sketching because we still have the drawing phase with the marker. So we'll do the same on the right side. See, the angle. So here's like an oval. So let's get that oval down for the other ear. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a sketch, right? Hi, Natalie. Hi, Fate. Okay, and I think I want a tail. Let's, let's put our tail on the far left side and it could just be a little, a little, uh, what shape would this be? Kind of like if, if a triangle was bent, bent upwards on the top corner. It's kind of like a small triangle, right? So just make a point and then just follow that okay, point. Just... Wait, actually, hold on. Here. And oh, you could use an eraser if you want, Riley. Here. So you guys can see our drawing already. I think I want to also make a bone. So let's make some parallel lines over here, two of them. Parallel lines are lines that never meet. So they'll be next to each other, kind of like lanes on a freeway. You wanna put the two lines? Because we're making the bone. And then we can make two circles, two circles, and see, that's a bone. These are all just shapes, right? Oh, uh, oh yeah, this does look like a crescent, like a half crescent. Yeah, that's, that's good, good shape terminology there. Natalie. Hi, Sanvi. Good to have you. So, um, this is just our first drawing of three, okay? So, so do stay, uh, if you want to draw with us for the next two, okay? And also, these videos will be recorded and I will save the recording on my page here. So let's get our uh, markers, let's get our ink pens or our Sharpies, and we are going to uh, outline our contours. 
Contours are like the lines on the outside of the shape. So I'm going to start with the ear here. It's a little tricky. So try and follow along. So we'll go around, but we don't want it to connect. We'll leave it like that. Good, good, Riley. Now we're going to go to the length of the potato. And I think it's okay to go past our crescent tail because that'll make it look like that tail is behind our dog here. But I still do need to outline that tail. Here's, the, here's another thing. Our nubs, we will go around the nubs, okay? Around the nubs. Let's keep going around our nubs. Around our nubs. There. And let's bring our line up, or you could start from the top and lead to the bottom or meet halfway, whatever you want. Oh, it's a little wiggly, but I don't mind. That's okay. It gives it character. I accidentally went over the knobs. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. So let's do the top of our potato dog's head. And let's do the same with our ear here. No, we don't want that connection on the top. Oh, did it freeze? No, it's like slowly. Um, Here, I'll give it a second. Sorry, guys. Okay, it's looking good again, I think. How's the video looking for everyone, guys? Is it frozen? Looks good right there, though, huh? Guys, maybe it is frozen. She said it's frozen. Huh? She said it's frozen. She did say it was frozen. Yeah. It's fine for us here. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's, it's good. It's good for them there. Okay, good. All right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, you won't know unless I'm moving. <laughs> All right, so we'll do the, let's do the eyes real quick. Okay, that's good. Let's get that nose in. And let's get our bean shape. The bean shape is the jowls, right? Of our of our potato pup here, and let's do this uh, half half uh, what do you call that oval? Let's do that half oval, and let's do that half bean, and draw a line in the center so it's so it looks like a tongue. We can color in the inside too. I think that makes it look more like the doggy's mouth. I think I'll color in my eyes too. <laughs> Don't forget the bone. So the bone is pretty straightforward. We just draw around the lines and that's that. And that is our potato dog. That is our first drawing for today. One, I'll give it a second, and I want to show you guys Riley's. Wait, can I erase the, the pencil things? Oh yeah, um, you might want to wait for the marker to dry uh, for like a, a minute, and then you can erase the sketch lines so our potato dog will look really clean. Here you go, Riley. Can you pass me that eraser, please? Please? Oh, yeah. Thank you. So now all 
those sketch lines don't matter. I think you guys will really like the next drawing. And this potato dog came out better than better than I thought. It's so funny. I think this will be really fun to color. What do you guys think? There. Yeah, this is the same as the Pusheen drawing. It's so heavily abstracted, as in it's, it's very simplified, that it looks best when it's clean, as opposed to sketchy. So once we get rid of all the sketch lines, oh no, see, that's what happens when the ink is still wet and you try to erase it. That's okay. And that is our potato dog. Bark, bark. Gotta shake it. Gotta shake it so the pencil lines will go away. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Wanna show yours, Riley? I think Riley's turned out better than mine. This is, this is my niece, Riley's. Potato dog, very clean. Good job, Riley. <laughs> All right, are we ready for the next drawing, you guys? Mine are really wobbly. Like the lines, are the lines wobbly? Mm. Okay, so let's get our pencil back, you guys. We're gonna get we're gonna get going with our next drawing here. So this one's a bit. Uh, this one's gonna have a few more shapes than the last one because the last one's very easy. So I need you guys to follow along. So from the center, we're gonna move a little to the left, and this is where we're going to make our oval shape. I know it seems like we're drawing a lot of potatoes and beans, but I guess, I guess a lot of things in the world are shaped like potatoes or beans somehow. All right, yay, good. You guys are ready, awesome. So I'm just placing my potato shape on the left side. Actually, this is somewhere between a cross. Uh, it's a cross between a potato and a bean, somewhere in the middle. All right. Yeah, it's a little curvy on the bottom. Okay. And that's it. Just, just an oval. Okay. Now. Find the center of our potato, and then we are going to move it, move it slightly up, move our pencil slightly up, and we're going to make an oval. Now, am I going too fast, guys? Am I going too fast? I mean, just wait a little bit. Okay. I think I am going a little fast. All right. Now, we're going to make a circle. And another circle. This one's not straight on. It's a little lower than our first circle. And 
and then we'll move to the left. And this is gonna be a teardrop, but again, think of the angle, okay? So if, if I make a teardrop, this is just straight on, but this teardrop is gonna be at a slight angle like this. See? <laughs> Platypus, good guess, but but maybe you're close. I, I but but it's it's not it's not. <laughs> okay, so from this oval, I want you guys to make another oval in that oval, right? Now you see it, yeah. That that oval, the last oval we just made it was the giveaway. Good guess though, fate. All right, so let's, we're not going from the center of the, of this potato shape. We're gonna move it to the left a little bit and we're gonna make curved parallel lines, see? And it doesn't reach all the way to the bottom. Let's leave a little space on the bottom here. See? Bacon dog. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see. That that actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, you guys guessed it right. It is another dog. Okay. So now let's draw Um, I guess this is a, a, a rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle, guys. Now, from the two parallel lines we made here, we're gonna close it off on the bottom. And then we're gonna lead that line all the way to the end of our potato on the right side. And then as we reach the end, we're gonna go down. Yep, then we go down. And for those of us joining in a little late, uh, just want to say that I am go I'm going to save this recording and this is just two of three drawings we're making today. Oh, how do how do we move the comments? Do you know how to move the comments really? Just scroll. I guess they're seeing the comments too and they're getting in the way. They get in the way. Um, I thought they'd disappear on their own. No? Is this a new thing? Shoot. Maybe you should move the camera lower. Just move the camera? Lower. Like that. Or like lower so that it cut, like it's above the comments. Does that help? I just move the comments lower. Right? <laughs> Mr. Beans. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Fate. <laughs> All right. So let's continue, guys. Down here on this uh, lowest curve of our potato, we're gonna follow the line here down, and we're gonna create a curve there. At the top, right-click the comment button. Do you see a comment button, Riley? Or, um... Um, wait and wait where figure it out at the top right click. I don't. I don't see have it. a. I don't, see I don't have a comment button. What is that? Oh no. I don't have a comment button on the top. Because you're the live streamer, you can't comment on your own live. Oh okay. Well it's that, that's for fine. The people just watching. Okay okay that's fine. All right so, you see this shape? It's like a music note. We're gonna we're gonna add another one on the top, 
right. All right, just like that. And these are feet. Okay, now, uh, right here, what, what our pup is sitting on, first we want to make a diagonal line right here to connect to this back area here. And we're going to make a line right there. And this line is a little shorter than our leg line here. See? And afterwards, Let's bring this line all the way across, as straight as you can. Oh, good. And then let's make another diagonal line, the same angle right here. That should help us. Okay. I want us to make a few more, a few more um, rectangle shapes, but then these are going to be really, really thin. So here's one, and then we'll put one below the foot here. And we'll make another one below this other foot. And let's put one right here. Okay. So four legs, four legs in total. Okay. Let's continue. Let's make uh, an oval around like the, where our dog's waist is. We will make a really thin oval guys, really thin oval. Right? And then we'll make a line going down and another line to the other end of the same length. Now I want you guys to draw a line that follows this curve here, our um, ovals curve on the bottom, see? This is how we make um, a table. Now let's give our table some legs. Let's put one here It'll be the same as our chair here. Just a few rectangles. Then let's put one here. One here. And another here. Okay. How are we looking, guys? And uh, those of us that are drawing, if you have a dog, would you guys uh, 
write your dog's name in the comments below. Okay, and then let's continue. So we're gonna do the same shape, but smaller, just, just an oval and two lines. And it goes past this top line here and then a bottom curve just like that. Salel. Okay. A few more things. Let's make a circle here for the eyes. And then a circle here. Hey Elaine, uh, you caught us on our second drawing. We'll be making a third one and I'm saving the video for this one as well. So welcome. Now let's make um, I guess it's kind of a curved hot dog shape. Oh, Clell. Jasmine. Jasmine and Clell. Two pups. And then let's make a curve on the top. I guess it's our our half oval and then a line going through. Oh, cool. Mister. Mister. Do they know what your ears is? I I'm, I think so. So from this bottom of the dog's like snout snoot, let's go over here. And then we'll make this curve right here. You got it right, Elaine. <coughs> oh. And let's make an oval shape over here. And I think that's the extent of our sketching phase. You guys can grab your Sharpie or your ink pen. And we are going to draw in our lines. Oh, have you seen my ink pen? Uh oh. Is it this? Oh yeah, it's, it's that. Thank you. Oh, I didn't add this Mr. Jasmine and Clout. My dog's name is Remus. Okay, so let's let's begin. I think I'm gonna draw his forehead first, just like that. We're not going past the eye, okay? Yep, that's good. All right, so let's go around the circle. And let's draw in the little circle in there. And you can even fill that in if you want. So this is important. The next step we're not drawing the whole oval here. We're just going to start from right here, make a line, and then we're gonna draw this oval, and feel free to color that in too. It's gonna be the nose, if you, if you couldn't tell. And then we're going to draw this line below and then that curve, and that's that. We're not connecting the whole oval. Okay, let's continue. Oh, my ink pen is blotting, all right. So from this contour of the potato, we go down. And instead of going around that foot, we can go past that 
but don't go past this other f other foot. Let's let's draw in the whole foot together. And let's get the other eye in. All right. And then the circle inside. And we can color that in too. <laughs> Looks funny. And let's let's draw our hat. So pretty straightforward for the hat. And we can color in the line here. Ah, uh, darn it. Yeah, the the video the video is weird. I I have to do something about that for the next the next one. All right. So, let's follow this line and let's draw out this teardrop shape. And we're going to color in the teardrop shape as well. You're welcome, Christy. I'm glad they're here drawing with me. So I'm going to do these every day except the weekends at 9 a.m. So I hope you guys uh, join us for Monday. All right. Let's get this line. Let's go all the way. Follow our original potato, our very first one. I'll bring it all the way to the feet. All right like a continuous line we'll bring it up to the knee and towards those parallel lines which are the arms and those arms kind of go in to his um, to his lap I guess cool this is a this is an ink pen uh, I think Amazon's shut down, but I could give you the link uh, to the to where I bought it below after. And um, also, oops, oh dang it! All right. Also, we use a sharpie, so you could use any marker. I just kind of like using an ink pen because it shows all my uh, wobbly strokes and it gives it more character. <laughs> All right, and then let's get this rectangle going. Let's get these other rectangles below. These are pretty straightforward too, guys. So let's go ahead and trace in all those rectangle shapes. There, pretty easy, right? <laughs> He's just sitting there. Let's do our table. These are, I think, the whole table is pretty straightforward. But let's let's start with the um, this shape here. This needs to go over the table, right? This this makes it so. It looks like it's on top of the table. <laughs> Thanks, Fate. <laughs> Woo. It's like a party. <laughs> All right. And let's continue our oval. We'll trace in all our shapes. And we're very close to finishing. This one's the, the hardest one for today, I think. And you guys 
followed along up to this point, so good job. And it'll look a lot better once we let it dry a little bit and we could erase our sketch lines. So this is our... Okay, thanks for coming in. This is our, um, our dog hanging out and looking at a roll of toilet paper. We can, we can color in that thing. <laughs> All right. Can I see your drawing, Riley? Yes. Wow, that looks good. I like this one better. This one's Riley's. So maybe in the end of our video, you can, you can uh, post your drawings down below in the comments. So are we ready for our next drawing, you guys? Yeah. This is... This is drawing number two. Two out of three. <coughs> Beautiful. <coughs> this, this, this pup is fine. He has a, a good roll of toilet paper in front of him, right? <laughs> I am fine. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, Jeff. Thank you. Yep, and yep, and this is my niece's by Riley Reyes. Okay, guys, I think we could do our final drawing. And this one, it's. Uh, oh wait, I want to show us. I want to show you guys. Um, a painting I did really quick. So, this is my pup. His name is Remus. It's a portrait I made when he was a puppy. He's a lot bigger now. Alright, I'll... We'll get back to our drawing. <clears throat> so this one is an original. Let's get our pencils. Pencils. From the middle of our paper, let's make a circle. Oh, thanks guys. Thanks, Sanaya. Is it Sanaya? S okay, good. Good that it's not frozen, Courtney. So we're, we just made a circle in the center. Yep, and um, so I painted my, my pup using, I don't want to say the exact same methods, but it's all just simple shapes first then complex shapes after but since uh, most of my students here with me today are young artists it's good to practice our simple shapes until we get you know better so big circle then we're making uh, a slightly smaller circle on top kind of like a snowman okay So, two circles. And then, let's make a... I would say this is like a, a corn kernel on its side. Or it's kind of like an oval, I guess. And now, we will draw another corn kernel on the right side but this one it's facing us so it's a lot it looks bigger because it's flatter right so things look bigger when it's facing us straight uh, uh, straight on but when you see it from the side it slightly gets smaller because that's what we see 
<clears throat> okay. I think I want this curve to be a little bigger. All right, so let's make a line going uh, outside of the circle here. And around the halfway point, we're just going to make a few little nubs. A few little nubs. And then right here, so just a little below the bottom of this circle, we're going to make two parallel, not quite parallel, it's kind of converging, but it ends roughly right there. And then we're going to make a few nubs there too, okay? Just a few nubs, a few little nubs. And then from the back of this circle shape, let's connect our oval. See? Just like that. Tigers? Maybe I'll do a, a mixed drawing uh, for Monday because we did cats yesterday and today it's dogs. So we'll... Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I actually want you guys to comment down below, too, on what you guys want me to draw for you um, for next week. And maybe we'll put it on a, in a poll or something. So below the circle, we'll do a similar shape to this for our legs. So just two not quite parallel lines. They're kind of converging. And then make a line in between and two more lines and then we make those nubs just some nubs a grouping of nubs there Why is i think the nubs make it look cute like a baby all right now we're going to draw a tail. So the tail is just going to be, again, kind of a, uh, what is that shape? It's not quite a crescent. And then this one, more little curves. All right. And over here, I think a good place to like measure it out. From the top of this ear, if we make a line going down, we can make an oval right there. Unicorns and Komodo dragons, those are fun. You guys want some fierce animals, it looks like. Sure, we can do all of that. We'll see. I'll, I'll make a list and then maybe since we're always doing three drawings, maybe I could do two of mine and then one of your choosing in the end. All right, let's make a curve here and a curve there. <laughs> That's cute, Riley. It's so fat. Yeah, I think, I think it's cute when it's fat. All right, so in the dog's hand, we're making a circle, a small circle. And I like the, the beady eyes. Let's make some beady eyes, you guys. Look like a bear. Yeah, it's like, it's like a pup. And it's not done. On the left side, we're going to make a pot. And I guess it's like a square. You could say it's a square, then a rectangle for the, the lip of the pot.
Đấy. Now we're making a really thin. It's an oval, but it it ends at the pot. See, it's an oval. Yeah, it does look like a bear. It's, I think because it's like a squashed, chubby puppy. And we're gonna make another bean shape that goes into our long half oval shape here. Right? Yes, it's a cactus. And we can put these curves along the side of it so it looks like our pup has taken a bite of the cactus. See? And I'm going to draw a little bit of shadow. And that's it pretty much for the sketching phase. We can, we can switch our pencils for our um, drawing tools now. So we sketch with our pencils, but we draw with our markers. And for this last drawing, I think I'm going to use a sharpie with you guys, so you guys don't feel left out or, or what. So I'm going to use my sharpie this time. And let's do that trick we did with the ears. Let's go from the top around. And we're not fully going to draw that kernel, that corn kernel. And then we are going to go around the shape of our of our dog but not not all the way to right here it just ends right there okay this makes it look like the shapes are all connected like it's one whole like it's one whole uh, uh, form as opposed to like a snowman where it's like a circle on top then a circle on bottom on the bottom so let's make a line on the top. Let's draw out that ear. But again, remember, we're not connecting it. We end it right there. That way it feels like it's still connected to the greater form, which is the head. Now let's continue this line. We go around. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah, it is a, it, that is a cactus. Let's get those arms, or let's get the arm in, and those nubs. And here, another important part, we're not drawing the body, or the circle of the body from the top of the head. We're actually starting slightly right here and then bringing it down. See that? There's an opening there. And that makes it feel like that arm is connected to our body when we leave those openings. And then right here too, we're leaving this open. We're going around the legs, see? Making the nubs up, across, down, nubs, and around its butt. It's like a chubby peanut dog. All right, let's do this arm here. It's like a standalone thing, pretty straightforward. There. And let's get our tail in. Let's get those curves, just like that. And let's draw our dog's features. Again, beady eyes, beady eyes are fun. Beady eyes. 
oval nose and the little curved mouth. <laughs> Chubby puppy. <laughs> Good job, bro. Yours, has, yours looks like a bear. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't draw my ball. And the ball can have stripes if you want, I think. Or it could be a soccer ball. Maybe let's leave it blank for now. I'm, you guys might want to color it, right? Let's draw our cactus shape together. Um, let's start. Where should we start? Let's, let's do the outline of our pot. See? Just goes around. Good. Mr. Doggy. <laughs> Let's make that line going across and right here I'm gonna make a line in the center but it's subtle just so it looks like there's a, a lip to our pot but we don't need to draw a line all the way across and now let's draw our cactus shape and we'll just put in those bites and go around Just around the contour of a cactus. And that's good. Okay, so here's the tricky part, guys. It's not completely done, and this is this is kind of part of this drawing. I'm going to give it a waggy tail, and this is how you do it. If you only draw the top part, see the top part of the tail, just like that, and then you make some lines that look just like the bottom part of the tail and you make these swooshy lines it looks like the tail is wagging do you see that that's like a action effect <laughs> and then we're gonna make a little teardrop And I'm going to make cactus spines going up along our cactus shape. So we're nearing... Um, Completion of our drawing. And then you can put some cactus spines on our pup because our pup went to defend its ball and got some spines on, on itself. There. Oh, wait, I forgot the shadow. Sorry, guys. The shadow. Drop shadows are just rough shapes of what we think the form is making, and it gives the drawing that we just made more visual weight. It feels like it's actually on the paper. That's what shadows are good for. And we could erase the pencil lines, and it would be... We would be done. Bye. Thanks for coming. And uh, if you guys could, would you guys please post your drawings on the comments below? So thank you. And that's, that's pretty much our class for today. And if you have any questions or comments, again, just leave them on the comments below on this video and I will save the recording. So keep practicing guys and I'll see you guys on Monday at 9 a.m. Thank you. Oh, uh, and I wanted to say thank you to Danielle Austin for, uh, for sending me some funds. Uh, that was really nice of her to donate. So uh, thank you, Danielle. And bye, you guys. Have a great day. Oh, wait.
Dang it, I wanted to show Riley's picture. <laughs> this is Riley's picture. So you guys should share your pictures too. Maybe you can color them. You wanna show your drawing, Riley? Maybe you guys can, okay. oh. Maybe you guys can color them and then leave them in the comments below. Okay? Thank you guys. I'll see ya. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for drawing with me, Riley. <laughs> you like your drawings? Yes, I like this one. That one's the best. Can I see? All them? I want to see them all, yeah. Does it feel nice to draw on this paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this would look good if you painted this to look like a real potato, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. This one looks kind of scary. Like he's contemplating. It's like my last toilet paper. <laughs> Thank you guys.